Hello everybody and welcome to the dining area. As you can see, I've got a cute tiny sidekick. He's so teeny tiny. And now that I've picked him up, you can't even see the thing that I made for him. Here we go. No? Still not? Can you see it? He's my little Scooby-Doo. Yeah? Scooby-Doo. He's 20 kilograms. He's so heavy. Yes, I love you. And so today we are going to be making some Scooby snacks. I'm using Rosanna Fancino's recipe. I need to make like a Fancino Friday series. At this point, I make so many of her recipes. So let's get started. What we need, also um, linking her video down there below so you can see her making them properly. This is just me trying to. All right, so let's do it. Okay, so here's what you need. <laughs> Two and a half cups of whole wheat flour, one egg, one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of water, two tablespoons of honey, one cup of peanut butter, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Also, if you can hear some cheep cheep cheeping, that would be my baby chick in the box behind you. Okay, so I've got my hand mixer. Wixer? That's what it is, it's a hand mixer. I've lost my mind. So take your flour, baking powder, and your egg. Go little egg, be free! Come on! Ah! Delightful. <laughs> and mix it all together, woo! Yeah! Then we throw in the rest of our ingredients and mix it all together. I love it. The easier the recipe, the better. Also, yeah, the reason I'm in the living area instead of in the kitchen is because the kitchen is a nightmare zone. We're getting countertops, maybe? Who knows? Honey, 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 honey. Butter, not butter, this is peanut butter. It was pretty close. <laughs> I. I'm not a fan of peanut butter, so. But Pax has just discovered peanut butter today. He's having a big roll day, and he's decided that it's delicious. Did I say vanilla extract? Yeah, it's vanilla extract, not the essence. Whee! Perfect. So, obviously, you want to keep everything as healthy and organic as possible when making cookies for your dogs. And it's really, really just a pretty gross. <laughs> We'd like. This so you can see, but I'm afraid I'll make more of a mess. <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no! Don't do that! Oh no! It's come out! Stop it! Stop doing that! No! Stop it! Go down! Oh! <laughs> I'm winning. I'm sorry, little hand mixer. Maybe we give the hand mixer a break and use this hand mixer instead. This job is too much for Ma's little old hand mixer. A wooden spoon and some good old fashioned elbow grease. The whole point of this recipe is that it's for dogs, but humans can eat them too. That's why I decided to do Rosanna Pennacino's recipe. Otherwise I would be just making dog rest dog biscuits also, I'm making mine into bones, not circles, because I just found a cute little dog uh, cookie cutter and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make bone Scooby-Doo snacks. All right, I have a little tray to roll my dough out on because I'm working on the dining room table. I'm trying to keep things clean, relatively speaking. Got that dough. Nice big bunch of cookie dough. Some more flour. A sprinkle on top of it. I'm just gonna roll it out, make it nice and thin, and get flour all over the dining room table while we're at it. Okie dokie, I need to get some cling wrap because I like this step. What you do with your cling wrap, you just put it over your cookies. And I've got two different sizes. I think they are so cute. Let me reach all the way over there. Can you see how cute? So I'm gonna make two different sizes of cookies. Because I can. Point of the cling wrap is to make your cookies rounded. Ha! 
Max also knows what's up. Like he has been here the whole time I've been prepping this. Back off on me. And I've got my greased little doodads over here. Ooh, Pax farted. He's all the way over there. He's a good solid like seven or eight meters away from And it's toxic. He's a toxic puppy. Wouldn't really be one of my videos without an uncomfortable close-up. Hey. We're now gonna pop those in our oven, preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake them for about, well, since mine is so little, I'm gonna pop them in for 10 minutes. Uh, if you make bigger cookies, then 18 minutes. Kinda have to play it by ear, depending on the size of your cookies. So I'm gonna go pop those in the oven, and see how that goes. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is just from the first batch that I put in the oven. I've got a second batch going. I'm still cutting cookies out. I'm gonna make some bigger ones. So I'm gonna have a quick taste of this because it's for humans and dogs. It's very mild, but I actually kind of like it. <laughs> So now let's get our Scooby-Doo and see if he Scooby does these cookies. Turkey Sonics, you want a cookie? You want a cookie? Come here. <laughs> sit. Sit. Good boy. Look at me. No, sit. Sit. Oh. Oh, you're so good. It's different. Do you not like it? What do you think? Are they Scooby-Doo approved? Was that yummy? Was that yummy? Did you like it? Do you want another one? Do you want another one? Sit. Oh, I think they're Scooby-Doo approved. Hey, my boy. I gotta go and get those other cookies out of the oven. Piggy. <laughs> I just gotta show off this beautiful color that I made as much as possible because otherwise it's like an hour's worth of work for <laughs> a 15 second gig. A 15 second bit. <laughs> So that's that for this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. And if you'd like to support me on this channel and my pack of sores, then please <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> okay, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!